God, I know the words that I desire Jesus to say to me on that day. I did a show yesterday or some a few days ago of the words I don't want him to say, which is depart from me. I never knew you. But the words I want the Christ to say to me is found in Matthew 25, 21. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. I want the Lord to say, Rob, I entrusted you with this, to steward this, and you accomplished and fulfilled your mission. That you may say, my God, this mission is impossible. But the mission is not impossible. It's him possible because all things are possible through he who believes. How many want to hear those words? Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Hit the amen button, the like button, the thumbs up. Say, that's me, Rob. I desire the Lord to say that. In the comments, testify. Say, yes, Rob. I want the Lord to say that to me. Now, before I continue, I'm live Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern. If you're new, please subscribe. Also, Thursdays, we're starting live Zoom, May 6th, 8 p.m. Eastern, New York. The ID to get in the Zoom is 513-302-8285. So come in the live Zoom. You can be loose, unmute yourself, pray, prophesy, preach, whatever. This is not Brother Rob's meeting. This is the Holy Ghost meeting. Again, Matthew 25, 21 comes off the parable of the talents. Jesus gave or entrusted to different people according to their ability. Now, the whole, the whole gig with this parable is God hasn't called us to be the best. He's called us to be the best we can be. If the Lord's entrusted someone else, that doesn't mean he entrusted someone else with someone else. The other different people, the same type of responsibility and weight. You know, when I talk about the fivefold ministry, the apostles, prophets, teachers, evangelists, and pastors for the equipping of the saints so they're no longer tossed to and fro by every wind, that's just a different responsibility in the weight. You may be a housewife and God may use you to start a move of God on your block that you live in amongst people and preach the gospel you may preach the gospel to someone they may get saved they could be the next billy graham you don't know who you're speaking to they could be a nation shaker a nation mover but i do know this the lord gave one talents and one buried it and he says my god I, it's too hard for me to do and gee the lord was not happy that there was be said one that has let him who has more be given to the one that created more, that's been entrusted, that's been a faithful steward. Again, Matthew 25, 21, his Lord said, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. And what do you think we're going to be doing in the millennium, this thousand years sitting around twiddling up? My God, we're going to be stewarding the thing God's entrusted in this millennial kingdom. It's going to be very interesting to see who's in charge over who and what. My God, we're the ones we're going to rule and reign in this thousand year. Well, I don't know if it's an actual fact. Listen, there's mysteries in the Bible that people think they've figured out. Many of them we don't have figured out. I do know Ephesians says that he will reveal mysteries to his apostles and prophets in the end days. As the days, the end of this age is closing, the Lord's going to reveal mysteries to his apostles and prophets. My God, those are the words I desire to hear. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.